This is, this is what pathological blood coagulation looks like. This is using phase contrast microscopy. You can see these fibrous material. These fibers are formed, or they're clotting proteins that are formed when there's injury to the blood vessel wall. Or if there's injury to an organ or a tissue, they'll form to form a clot so that you don't bleed to death internally. But if this is happening inside the blood vessel, which is happening in every case, every autopsy that's been done, there's clots in these COVID patients throughout the entire body. The question is what's causing the blood to go into what is called DIC, disseminated intravascular coagulation or pathological blood coagulation. The cause is chemical poisoning. The chemical poisoning is coming from, is coming from the food we're eating. It's coming from the water we're drinking. It's coming from the air that we're breathing. And when you combine that with other contributing factors like electromagnetic uh, pulsating frequencies, you've actually created, in, in, in some of the concentrated cities or the epic centers where these problems have been showing up in Milan, in Madrid, in Wuhan, uh, China, in New York City, in Los Angeles, you can kind of put the pieces of the puzzle together. And so we're not fighting a virus. We're, we're actually fighting a condition that is the body in defense in an alarming situation trying to protect itself from sudden death and uh, from internal bleeding. And, and, and so it forms these, these, these clots because it can't go in to the lungs to drop off single file. It's stuck. If it's like this, it can't go into the capillary pools. It can't go, and so it forms a clot, forming an embolism that then causes this dry cough. So when you look at the symptoms of COVID, which is a fever, what's the body doing? The fever is created as a symptom to remove metabolic dietary respiratory waste out through the pores of the skin. So it's creating a fever in order to remove poisons in the interstitial fluids, which are the fluids that surround the cell and the poisons that are being dumped there from the body cells and from the blood to try to purify itself. It doesn't do it. If that backs up and what happens in the vascular system, clots form and then the blood can't get in to remove its own waste. And we go into hypercapnia, which is carbon dioxide poisoning. 